My name is Jody Bunting, and this is another one of our live coaching videos. This is week number one for Terry, and I'd like to introduce you to Terry. Hi. <laughs> Welcome to our live video. I know this is a little bit weird, first of all. Don't be shy. Um, now, the good news is you are friends with Chelsea, aren't you? One of our former slimmers. Yeah. And, and did you watch any of Chelsea's videos? Yes, I did, yeah. On week number one, she was like this. She was like shy. And then on week number six, she was like this. She was like, ooh. And she was dancing around yeah. and cheerful and happy. So I know it's a little bit intimidating on week number one, but I promise you it will get a little bit easier. Now, um, so you're you're wanting to lose weight for a special reason. Is that right? Yeah. Yes, yeah. <laughs> And what's the exciting thing happening? Uh, I'm getting married. <laughs> Yay! Is there a better reason to lose weight for than to get married? Oh, well, to be no. happy for my kids as well. <laughs> oh, okay. Yeah, for your kids as well. Great. <laughs> we don't want to diss the husband, but for the kids as well. That's great. Right, Terry, we'll, <laughs> we'll definitely help you do that. How long till the wedding? Um, just over six months. And how much weight would you like to lose in that time? I did give myself like four or five stone, but I don't like. I could. Uh, I'm willing to go with the stress of the wedding and everything like that, and yeah, go with as much as I can do. <laughs> And have you Maybe got I'll any... do more, you never mind. <laughs> well, yeah, you never look at Chelsea, three and a half stone down. Yeah. Have you got any ideas at the moment on dresses or fits or sizes, stuff like that? Yeah, um, so I've picked a dress. It is actually a perfect fit. Oh, but is it? Yeah, it was like really like such a good fit, like the day I tried it on. Um, but obviously I said that, Oh, I'm willing to have alterations and stuff because I, th I felt lovely in it, but it's like the parts of my arms like are starting to get like, a bit chubby. You know where you're starting to see like a bit of a <laughs> it's like a shape where the line is from your hand to your arm. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know. And that bit I don't like. So I, I, I was like, I need to slim down my arms a bit and I've seen my belly on my bottom as well, really. <laughs> my dress covers that bit though, which is quite nice. <laughs> So the good news is that you do have a dress that is going to fit and you you probably feel nice in. But obviously, just yeah. to make you feel a bit more confident and a bit more, you know, yeah. feel healthy would be great, wouldn't it? Yeah, definitely. So this is our aim then. So over the next six weeks, I guarantee you're going to lose a stone. Uh, then hopefully you will find some uh, things that you found easy and you could continue with that for the next uh, five, six months towards the wedding. And obviously that would really help as well, won't it? Yeah, definitely. So let's talk a little bit about food. What do you find yeah. difficult? What foods do you love? If you want me to admit mine, first of all, I love cream cakes. I love birds cream cakes. So what do you find difficult? What do you love? Um, I find, I, I'll say I love chocolate, but I actually don't eat a, a lot of it as I used to. I used to eat quite a lot. Um, but since working nights, I actually find it difficult to have enough food. So I managed to get like one meal, uh, like for the day. And then I'm like, I like snack and where I can. And that's the bit that I fall back on is, is the snacking and I'm not having like the right breakfast is and I'm just grabbing and going most of the time. So do you think this is more to do with the fact that you're working nights then that you're just having little and often on the go? Yeah, I think I need to try and find a, a routine and I don't have a routine <laughs> at all. And do you sleep after your night shift or do you sleep before it or how does that work? Um, I'll do, I'll get back, I'll do the school run. And then I'll sleep while the kids are in school and then I'll wake up, pick them up. <laughs> so not a lot of sleep, but I go with what I can. So that's your window of opportunity then, why the kids are at school. 
So yeah. my my question that springs to mind is, what do you do on school holidays and inset days? Oh, um, that's why like my mum comes in and here with my nephew. Oh. <laughs> as much as I can, yeah. There's well, school... obviously there's my partner as well, but he works during the day, so it's quite oh. difficult. And how long have you worked nights? Oh, like forever. <laughs> Okay, so it's not something new then that you need to get used no. to, kind of used to that. But yeah, you're right. Just trying to um, fit in some sort of routine will be good. Uh, the strange thing is when a lot of my slimmers move on to nights or I've got some nurses that do like occasional nights and they always ask me my advice. And I always tell them exactly what you're always doing. Just try and go for little and often. But the problem is... Okay. When you're doing little and often in the daytime and then you do it on nights as well, 24 hours of little and often can be quite a lot of food. Yeah, yeah, so, definitely. And it's a lot of snacking as well. It's not a lot of healthy. Yeah. <laughs> so. so hopefully I can uh, give you some advice on what things to have little and often. And hopefully these things will make you feel fuller um, and make the little not so often if that makes sense yeah because the other thing about working nights as well uh, I know when I've worked nights before a salad at 3 a.m is not appetizing is it no well, to be fair that's that's mainly what we get left on nights is oh, salad. No. they've started to leave like hot food but obviously, because I, I work in a care home, so the hot food has obviously like got the bits in to keep their weight, isn't it? So it's yeah. not really that great for me. <laughs> so I need I need to start trying to tuck into the salads and maybe try having like a jacket potato or something. I don't know. <laughs> yeah, no, we're not going to put you on straight salad. Don't worry, it's fine. <laughs> so have you used my fitness pal before? No, I've just downloaded it all and added you and everything like that. So I've, I've not done it before, but I've done like, you know, the whole like similar stuff and yeah. done that. So I do, I do like doing that because it keeps me on track. So, Are you familiar with speed foods at Slimming World? Yeah. Yeah. So great. So Slimming World Weight Watchers in the past, we're all just about focusing on calories and not really looking at the quality of your food. Uh, they have evolved a little bit, especially Slimming World. have got something called the, the speed foods. And this is basically foods that are high in nutrients. And this is what we're all about. Instead of just trying to have as many, as much food as you can at the possible lowest calories, uh, the real health benefits, especially for yourself working nights, is to have some good nourishing food that's going to make you feel good, that's going to help you sleep better, and of course is going to help you lose weight as well. So uh, you will be familiar with some of those speed food styles of foods, but hopefully we can help you with just putting the meals together and something that will be appealing at night. So what I'd like you to do uh, initially is just to try and track your foods on my fitness pal. Um, and okay. then we will go from there on how to change things. Have you counted calories before? Or just... No, I, that, 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 that's yeah. the bit I'm quite like, I'd say I'm shocking with because I, I'm there like trying to work it all out. And yeah, I think uh, I think that's a bit, I need a bit of a help with on, you know, how much goes into a meal and yeah. everything like that so I don't go over. The good thing about my fitness pal, it does have a uh, barcode scanner on. So instead of having to look things up, you can just scan the barcode and you'll find the calories there. Um, oh, most awesome. things tell you a portion size. So that's a good, good way to start. Uh, but if you are feeling really hungry or you, you want less than that, then obviously you can you can do that. But just using my fitness pal as a guide to really record what you're eating rather than how much initially. So that's all I want to know initially, just what you're eating. So don't worry too much about the, the portion sizes and things. Okay. What are your shifts like for the next few days? I'm off today and tomorrow, and then I'm in Wednesday, Thursday, and Friday this week. Okay, great. Um, yeah, it's not too bad. So you've got tomorrow then to have a little play around with the app, maybe track some foods. Yeah. Um, did you have? Did you see the meal plans I sent through as well? Yes. Yeah. 
I've, so I've again, not properly looked, but I've got them, so I thought I'll print them off and <laughs> stick them up. <laughs> perfect. Oh, you've done that already? No, I, I've looked. I've got my printer like ready for after this. I was like, I'll print them oh, off. Oh, so <laughs> I don't think even Chelsea got that far, you know. So you're ahead of Chelsea already. Well done. <laughs> <laughs> no, she's way ahead of me. <laughs> With the weight loss, yes. Now, one of Chelsea's biggest downfalls, I don't know whether you know Sabi. Do you know Sabi? Yeah, yeah. She's got a lovely husband that brings her takeaways every night or used to bring her takeaways every night. Do you have such hindrance in your life or not? Yeah, obviously the grabbing and going is where, like, say I'm, like, rushed off my feet. And I'll be like, right, guys, let's order a quick McDonald's. And, like, the kids will have, like, a <laughs> quick McDonald's. So, and it's, like, I don't know. It, it, it's just that bit. Obviously, I need I need something quick for me. Obviously, I don't mind the kids because it's a treat for them. Yeah. But, yeah. Yeah, we'll definitely help you out with things like that, just making sure you have got things that are ready to go and you can have in an instant because you're basically just tired and starving on your, at, the, at the end of your shift <laughs> yeah. and stuff. Great. Right. And exercise-wise, do you have any sort of uh, step counter or do you count it on your phone or anything? Yeah, uh, I, uh, I've got a watch. Um, and then also I did that, is it Strava or whatever it is? I've, I've Strava, put yeah. that in as track of my phone. Uh, but I do have a watch, but it's not a Fitbit or anything. Great. And do you know roughly how many steps you do when you're at work and when you're not at work? Uh, when I'm at work, uh, I'll definitely do like 10,000 because I'm up and down and everything like that. Um, when yeah. I'm not at work, I say maybe about five, six. <laughs> not, not as crazy. It's, it's okay, don't worry. And when you've done like 10,000 steps at work, do your ankles hurt? Do your legs hurt? Anything like that? No, no. Um, I did like the other. Well, it was a couple of weeks ago. Now. I did start going obviously to the gym. Yeah. Um, and I was working on that, and then I still went and did a night shift after. So <laughs> uh, I need to get back into it. <laughs> so yeah, if you feel like doing the gym, do the gym. But because you're quite active anyway, I wouldn't really suggest you do loads and loads of exercise. Maybe just for your own health just try and do a little regular walk little and often every day i think that's what would yeah. um be beneficial and especially on the days that you're not working so just try to get every single day up to ten thousand steps that would be a nice uh easy way to yeah definitely the days i'm not working yeah <laughs> I, I do sit down and chill on the days i don't work <laughs> <laughs> do a bit of that but also get your ten thousand steps yeah. in and again, this is where Chelsea has, she used to take her kids to school every day in the car. Yeah. So now she's walking to school twice a day. I did um, actually see her walking. Oh, today, did you? Like walking around the park. <laughs> yeah, I saw her doing it. I thought, oh, bless her. And I, obviously at the time I was actually in the car. So Don't worry, it's fine. Yeah. But it's just, you know, this is where Chelsea is, 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 has found it part of her lifestyle. Because we all know what it's like. It's your day off. You know, do I really want to go out for a walk? But if you're taking, for instance, your child to school, it kind of uh, ticks all the boxes and you're getting your exercise whilst you're doing it as well. And Amelia, her daughter, also said she loved it. She likes walking to school, like seeing her friends and seeing like the little paths and nature on the way. So it's great in all aspects. It is. Right. Have you got any of the questions? Um my not I want it's what well my actual fluid intake is really poor I'll have maybe like one drink or two a day <laughs> so yeah this, really this bottle poor. of water scares you does it yeah like honestly I used to try and do two to three liters a day and by the end of the day I felt so sick because I'm not used That's... to drinking at all yeah. it's not the water I can drink water but um it's obviously because I'm used to, I'll just have like a cup of tea, like in the morning, and then we'll say about six, seven o'clock at, at night, I've, I've like not had a drink. And <laughs> so is, it the same, is it the same at work as well? Um, at work, I tend to go about midnight and have a cup of tea, then I'll have like one or two. Yeah. Um, but if, if I'm like really hot, it will, it's a glass of water or a drink of apple juice, which is quite bad at night. <laughs> 
Yeah. So apple juice basically is yeah. just sugar and water. Just sugar. And hasn't, <laughs> hasn't got any nutrients in. So yeah, no. definitely try and stop the apple juice. Um, and what I would say about water, if you think about what is happening when you sleep, your body loses a lot of liquids. So if you can try and have um, like quite a few glasses of water when you first wake up, uh, obviously, I would normally be telling my clients to have it in the morning. But for you, it's slightly different. It's when you whenever you wake yeah. up, try and have your water then, because the other thing you don't want to be doing is having a lot of water towards the end of your night shift or in the mornings when you get home, because then it'll in, uh, disrupt your sleep as well. OK, so, yeah, try and get the water in either during the beginning of your shift at work um, and also, um, as I said, when you wake up. Is it really busy at work? Do you have time to go to the toilet and stuff? Um, so on our times, yeah, you, you get to, yeah. <laughs> I should be yeah. fine because <laughs> when I drink water before, yeah, I have to keep running off and like, yeah. I need to go to the toilet. <laughs> so it does make you need to go more. Just so you don't get that sick feeling from having too much water, just start to increase it a few glasses at a time. So don't go suddenly to okay. two or three litres. Uh, this week, try just to have one litre or a couple of extra glasses and then slowly start to increase it. Okay. Any other questions? Um, no, I don't think so. <laughs> right, so I will add you to the Facebook group. Uh, so feel free to ask any questions there. Private message me. Uh, message Chelsea as well. As you can see, she's the expert now as well. So uh, we yeah. are all here to support you and it's going to be great. So just keep in your mind your lovely wedding coming up and that is your motivation, Terry. Yeah, definitely. OK, great. Thank you for joining me. As I said, contact me at any point and we'll see you again here on our video next week. Thank you. All right. Thank you. Bye bye. Thank you. Bye-bye.